This is Partners in Practice, a weekly series dedicated to the evolving field of the advanced practice clinician. Here is your host, physician assistant, Lisa DeAndre Linnell. This Partners in Practice was recorded at the 2010 Aesthetic Extender Symposium. I'm talking with Dr. David Goldberg, clinical professor of dermatology and director of laser research at Mount Sinai School of Medicine, New York, medical director of skin, laser, and surgery specialists of New York and New Jersey, and co-director of Sanctuary Medical Center in Boca Raton, Florida. Hi, Dr. Goldberg. Welcome to Partners in Practice. It's great to be here. Dr. Goldberg, what is non-invasive body contouring? Non-invasive body contouring is the attempt to improve skin, tighten skin, in various parts of the body and or remove fat without surgery. When I think of non-invasive body contouring without surgery, that's hard to comprehend. Non-invasive body contouring is the use of laser and laser-like devices to promote new collagen formation in the skin. And that new collagen uh, is shorter. The fibers are shorter than the age stretched collagen. And by promoting shorter fibers, the skin automatically tightens slowly over time. So it's a natural way of tightening the skin without any surgery. So we've had lasers that have done similar things for years. What's different with lasers now? Well, when I think of non-invasive body contouring, I really divide it into uh, four different categories. There's non-invasive body contouring of the face, off the face, cellulite reduction, and finally, there is true fat removal. So there are really four distinct areas. So let's start with the face. So non-invasive body contouring of the face, or the attempt to tighten facial skin, really uh, is probably the oldest of the group. It goes back uh, about a decade or now ago, going back to techniques known as thermage. There have been many other devices that have come on the market uh, since then, but all of them share the same thing in common. They tend to cool the skin on the outside so that there's minimal discomfort and there's no blistering, and they promote heat below the skin, deeper than the skin, and as I said, that leads to these new shortened collagen fibers. The original techniques were done on the forehead to try to lift the eyebrows. Now we do this all over the face. We most commonly use these non-invasive techniques uh, on the face for is to tighten the jowls and perhaps the neck. And then off the face? Well, off the face are really similar approaches. And, And as we look at the face and off the face, the goal here, of course, is to do these techniques and have no downtime. So particularly on the face and and equally applying to off the face, we want people to be able to do a procedure, leave the office, maybe a little bit red, but really have no bruising and have no surgical scar and not require any general anesthesia. Well, that same concept that we apply on the face can be now done off the face. And most commonly, it's done to uh, the belly. It can't be for a fat hanging belly. Uh, That needs a tummy tuck. But particularly for women who may have had a couple of babies where they're in great shape and that skin is just stretched, we can take those same techniques that were used on the face, modify them somewhat, uh, and apply them to the belly or even the upper chest sometimes and tighten that skin. And within one or two treatments, we're going to see some improvement uh, in the tightening that occurs generally over three to six months' time and can last for two to three years. How have these procedures evolved over the last few years? Well, the procedures have evolved in several ways. Uh, One, there are many more manufacturers. There's some competition out there, which has really helped the consumer because prices have dropped. Two, the actual application has changed. We now have found that we can produce similar results with less energy, less wattage of the light bulb, if you will, than we could in the past. And what that means for patients is there's much less discomfort. So the procedure now works better. It's more comfortable than it was before, and it often requires less time. So we have more successful, faster, and more comfortable procedures than we had a decade ago. Now, can these be done in one treatment, or do they require several treatments? Often there is improvement after one treatment. Some people do several treatments, so we most commonly use two treatments to treat the face uh, and or the belly. And no downtime for these on the face or off the face? There's virtually no downtime. Uh, People may have a little redness. It's easy to cover with makeup, but there's no reason this procedure cannot be done and then have some go to a black tie affair that evening. Let's talk about cellulite. This is a big topic, and it seemed for years there were very few solutions for cellulite, but it sounds like there are some now. Tell us about it. Cellulite is a fascinating concept because we think of aging skin on the face or elsewhere as being the process of aging and the process of perhaps too much sun exposure on the face. Cellulite really is not that. Cellulite is not a disease. Cellulite is human skin exposed to estrogen. That's what creates that cheesy type look to skin that we call cellulite, the orange dimpling. We have over many, many years had a variety of techniques These include deep massage and some of the older laser and laser-like devices, which could improve cellulite. The difficulty was that people would have to come into the office twice a week, and they would have to do this over 14 to 16 weeks of time. Over the last couple of years now, we have newer devices that work very differently. They work somewhat analogous to the techniques that we use on the face and off the face, 
That is, they promote collagen deep within the skin. And we have devices that have various brand names. But the point is that we can, instead of treating people 16 times, often treat the lateral thighs six to eight times. And instead of treating people twice a week, people can come in for uh, perhaps six to eight sessions every other week. And then if you look at people six months later, they often still show results. And in fact, one of these devices uh, we did a study on that was published in dermatologic surgery in 2009, in which we looked at the 30 women treated with one of these newer devices. We treated the lateral thighs, we treated them six times, and we looked at them at six months. And 27 of the 30 women still had improvement at six months. And we did biopsies on these people to find out what, in fact, related to the improvement that was seen in their cellulite. And lo and behold, it was very similar to what we see in these techniques used on the face. There was new collagen formed deep within the skin. That helped to tighten their skin, and that helped to improve their collagen, and that helped to improve their cellulite. We also have looked at these people at a year, a year and a half, and sorry to say, some of that cellulite clearly does come back. So this has to be looked at in some ways similar to Botox injections. Periodically, you have to redo it. It's no different than getting your hair done. But at least we now have techniques that can be used for cellulite that work and that can last for a while. So let's move on to fat removal. This is a nice topic. Most folks would like to see some fat removal. How do we do that? Well, the techniques that we've talked about, that is facial and off-facial, non-invasive body contouring, and even cellulite reduction, typically involve the production of new collagen fibers that are shorter that lead to tightening of the skin. But that has nothing to do with fat, which means none of those techniques are going to decrease fat. And of course, the wonders of this all is to be able to tighten the skin and also to remove some fat. Well, we are now at the cusp of new techniques that actually can remove fat. There is a brand new approach that just received FDA approval for what is called cool sculpting. It's a technique that we were involved in in some of the FDA research studies about three years ago. It's been on the market for other purposes for about a year. And this is a revolutionary new approach to remove fat. And it's based on an observation that was made in Boston uh, over half a century ago. And that is children who sucked on popsicles for too long a period of time, people noticed that they lost fat on the inside of their cheek, but it didn't affect the skin or the muscle. And what that taught us was that fat is uniquely cold sensitive, that you can destroy fat without destroying other things around it. Move forward now, half a century later, and we have these sophisticated computers, companies known as Zeltique, and as I said, the process is known as cool sculpting. And we have these belts, and these belts are placed within the skin, and attached to the belt is a suction area, and that area suctions the fat into the actual belt and freezes the heck out of it. There's a numbing sensation. I've actually had it done myself. It's not painful. And you leave that belt on there for about an hour. And during that time, you either read a book or work on your laptop. And then when the belt is taken off, the area actually feels solid like an ice cube. It's frozen. The skin's perfectly normal. And then over the course of the next week or two, that fat begins to melt, kind of like a frozen wad of butter that melts. And over the course of the next two to three months, that fat which has now been destroyed is slowly removed by the normal body processes that remove fat when you eat a potato chip. So this is a totally non-invasive, non-surgical method that can be used for localized areas of fat. And what we've used it for so far is the stomach, love handles, both in men and women, and sometimes fat pads in women. It's not meant as a technique for people who want to diet. That's not what it's for. It's meant for people who are in pretty good shape, who have isolated areas of fat they cannot remove, who don't want surgery, who don't want liposuction. This is totally non-invasive. It is absolutely the wave of the future because it's an approach to remove fat without surgery. Any hyperlipidemia issues? So issues of hyperlipidemia or where does the fat go, this has been studied extensively. And in fact, it's the reason why it took so long to get FDA approval. The fat is broken down in the body just like when you eat a potato chip or a piece of fried chicken. Blood tests have been normal. Ultrasound tests have been normal. Everything is normal. It's totally removed by the body as if you ate too much fatty food. And how many times do you need to go through this procedure to get your results? No one really knows the exact answer to how many procedures one can have. What we do know, based on the FDA studies, is that there is improvement after one treatment. Now, in practice now, we actually have been treating people about three times, and we separate those sessions three to four months apart because it takes that long to see the results. Some people want two or three sessions. Some people only need one. So shifting back to the cellulite treatments, you said that it would require some maintenance. So how many initial treatments would someone need to do, and how often would they have to do maintenance treatments to keep something like that up? 
Well, the most commonly used approach right now for cellulite treatment is a machine called Accent. The company is called Alma. With that approach, we treat people eight times. We treat them every other week, so it takes about 16 weeks. At about a year, most people need some more. Usually they don't need eight treatments. Typically we'll do about three treatments.